four of swords somebody's not saying somebody's not saying anything but they're watching you okay somebody's real quiet here but they are watching and paying attention to something here this could be somebody who you're here who wants to reunite with you with the three of cups for some of y'all this there could have been a third party situation mm. and for some of y'all there's a friend who's like not a friend they act like they're your friend but they're not nine of pentacles so somebody here is single or you are the single person let's get more information hmm. flip and switch the rules all right take what works leave the rest somebody here could be born in 1999 we have the Nine of Swords here with the Nine of Pentacles. So somebody's stuck in their head. Okay, here goes a person now. Here, here we go. <laughs> okay. Because I was like, who's here? Jesus. King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So some of y'all could be dealing with somebody here who it looks like they're not saying anything. Because they're stuck in their head. I don't know why this person's stuck in their head. They could just be overthinking, which makes total sense. Because, you know, this King of Swords thinks... Think, too damn much. Whoever this person is, they think too much. Yeah. They're definitely not taking any action with the high priestess and the four swords being here. Yeah, they're not taking any action. It's all because of their pride and their ego. They could be a Leo for some of you guys with the strength card being here. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know what the death card there. The, wow. Okay. So we got that for major arcana Scorpio energy with the death card. So, you know, I feel like you know who this person is. All right. You do. Let me get one more and then we'll clarify. King of wands. King of wands. So this could be two people, doesn't have to be, could be, some of y'all might be dealing with an air sign, some of y'all might be dealing with a, a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius here. Um, let me clarify that, the tower. So there's an ending out here. Somebody's being forced to change. Somebody's being, you know what I feel like? I feel like this is the same person. Shit, this could be multiple masculines literally watching you not saying anything you could be they could be watching you gossiping about you something about you you're either having fun you're enjoying your life you're minding your own business or hanging out you're looking great <laughs> celebrating you know or just posting something with a group of friends or family members you know because it is the holidays somebody sees something i feel like you guys have mul just multiple people watching you Okay, for some of y'all, it's just one person, but you have people in your head over you. People, and this is these are masculines who, in the past, put you in third party situations. This is a this is a masculine. I feel like, or more than one. For some of y'all, again, it's two exes. For some of y'all, it's just one. And this person is deep in their pride and their ego. When it there is an ending. This person is, I feel like somebody here is being forced to change because they want to, they, they view you as having all the security. Um, you're, you are a wish fulfillment and I feel like this person didn't realize it. You know, this King of Swords is definitely watching you. Okay. They're definitely watching you. And watching you and wondering if you're single. But I feel like you guys. Hmm. Show me more on this King of Swords, please. This is somebody here who's very stubborn. Okay. Somebody here who who dresses pretty. Like they have some they have a good style. Like their clothes fit them. Like I don't think this is somebody here who wears like baggy clothes. Maybe they could wear baggy clothes, but this is just giving me like somebody with a little bit of style. This person might may work out. Could be a female. Okay, so just imagine this is some if this is a woman, this is someone here who has some style. 
they, you know, wear fitted clothes or something about their body. Maybe they work out or go to the gym or something, you know, it's just giving me like, yeah, this person has style, but they have ego, um, King of Wands energy is showing up here. And I feel like they, they dated multiple people when they were with you. I don't feel like you're talking to this person anymore. They're quiet in the background. But the thing is, they're hurt. <laughs> they're hurt over this ending, but they don't want anybody to know. Show me this King of Swords. Yeah, I feel like Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this King of Swords. Give me one more on the King of Swords. They might be a workaholic. This could be somebody here that does a lot of work. You know, they work all the time. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person is a workaholic. This person's a word. And, and and also reckless with their behavior. Very, a lot of, too much confidence from this person, y'all. This is giving overly confident. Clarify the King of Swords, please. Ten of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody here who works a lot. So show me the death card, please. Why is the death card here? Two of Swords. Man, this person refuses refuses to see something or refuses to really, I feel like, see themselves and in, to in change. You know, this person is is failing to really make a decision to change. to change their ways. Show me the high priestess. Five of pentacles. This person, like I said, they are having problems. They are not saying anything to you guys collective. They're just lurking, watching you obsessively on social media. They're watching you somewhere. Five of pentacles and they are feeling abandoned, left out in the cold. Like They are really feeling a, a sense of loss without you, whether you know it or not. I'm telling y'all, there's no communication with this person, but I'm telling you, this person's in a lot of conflict. They're they're definitely feeling lonely and missing you. Somebody could have blocked somebody. Do you have this person blocked? Did this person ghost you or something? Like, show me the strength card. Three of Pentacles with the Sun card. Hmm. Could be dealing with a Leo or a um, Capricorn here. Hmm. Definitely strong Leo energy with the sun clarifying the strength card. This person wants to reunite with you. They're holding back from doing that. Eight of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot. So let me tell you this in the Eight of Wands. Somebody here wants to communicate with you or they want to move towards you or somebody here is just like fast action. Somebody's moving the hell away, moving on from something. This could be you. You really moved on. Queen of Cups. Hold on. If you're identifying, there's a Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to show you all this energy. I feel like Queen of Cups, you moved on. <laughs> You're doing your own thing, Wheel of Fortune, right? You, you've changed, okay? Here's that Queen of Cups. You've changed, you know what I'm saying? You're my, really minding your own business here, Eight of Wands, okay? You're traveling, looking good. I feel like you're just like doing all kinds of stuff, living your life, overcoming obstacles. You overcame an obstacle, obviously, with this connection, the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel is turning. Wheel of Fortune could be like travel. It could be a lot of stuff, right? But it's good luck and fortune and change. And the Eight of Cups is like, okay, you're, you just, I just feel like you just moved on from this person. And you... <laughs> You moving away from this person actually made your life better. It's like if you're when you walked away from this person, your life got better. But when this when this your person's life did not get better when you walked away from them. 
somebody here wants to travel. I just feel like you let it go. And this person knows you let them go. But this person wants to come towards you. Now, y'all are definitely like mm, disappointed in this person because the Four of Cups was behind the Queen of Cups. But show me what else here <laughs> for this person. Oh, yeah, I told you they're talking about you. I told you somebody is talking about you. I feel like you're the center of attention for some reason. Huh. Somebody may have even said some things about you that wasn't nice. This person could have said some things about you that weren't nice. I don't like that. Some of y'all dealing with an Aries. Somebody here who's impatient, like I said, uh, in their ego quite a bit. You even this person definitely angered very easily. I feel like somebody here has a temper. You know, the King of Swords, the Knight of Swords, this can be somebody with a temper. They definitely overthink too. There's a lot of like. I don't like this. And the thing is, it's so weird because this person, it seems like to me, they do everything they can to try to suppress their emotions. Some of y'all, this person's anger, anger stems from some, some abuse, like substance abuse or something. Or this person's trying to numb, desensitize themselves. Show me more here. Scorpio energy just came out. I'm sorry for accusing you of the things that you didn't even do. I'm so used to people hurting me. I assumed you were just trying to hurt me too. I should have treated you better. You see what I'm saying? So it's like definitely some gossip here over something that wasn't true. I, I don't know who this person is gossiping with. It could definitely could have been some a friend group with the Three of Cups being here. You know, the Three of Cups and the Page of Swords, like I was saying, like, damn, who the hell is talking? You know, I don't... I guess somebody called themselves telling some secrets. To me, it looks like somebody in a friend group called themselves telling somebody else's, somebody else's secrets. But, like, low-key, those secrets were, like, not true. Something about it was, like, just not true. Mm. It was mis- or the information was very misleading. There was definitely something false here. Like, I feel like somebody created a narrative that just wasn't true. Just because they didn't have control over you anymore... Or you like, you stop talking to them or something of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Like that, it, it, they got mad. And so was this supposed to be get back or something? The thing is, when this person met you, they knew that you were like their soulmate or their twin flame. For some of y'all, this person is, a, you know, definitely a divine masculine or divine feminine. Literally what just came out was divine feminine and faithful encounter. The moment I laid eyes on you, I knew I could I couldn't explain how I felt, but I knew I was meant to find you. So this like you were like this angel in disguise or something, or you looked exactly like an angel. You know <sighs> you made this person question their belief system. Meeting you altered this person's life. Like the course of the like the, how they believed in love or maybe they didn't believe in like um certain connections they do now i feel like you put a mirror up to this person's face stuff that they, they, they didn't see oh somebody's subtle so this person has somebody else or they left you for someone else they feel lonely with this person whoever they're with I mean, you could have felt like you were settling too. Some of y'all felt like you were really settling with this person. Oh, no. oh, mirroring just came out. So you showed this person, you you put a mirror up to this person's face. I think I just said something like that, right? Where like, and it could have been vice versa back and forth, right? I feel like your shadow side, you may have shown this person their shadow side and they didn't like it or they didn't want to address it. What are the blockages here with this masculine? <laughs> what 
what's this masculine's problem here? What's this masculine's problem here? Hold on. First of all, I feel like this person tried to act like... I feel like this person has a type. But the thing is, their type is not healthy. You know what I'm saying? It's like you saying, oh, I love people that are 6'2". And I only date people who are at least 6'2". You know, with curly hair, blue eyes or something, right? Well, but those people don't treat you right. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person had a type and then when they met you, you were you were maybe different or something. I don't know. This person just wasn't open to doing things differently or dating some a type that was not their normal type. I don't... But they knew you were their person and they were, there was a fateful... You met for a reason, basically, okay? This person, for some of you all, there was an age difference. Or this person was just very immature, all right? Um, and somebody here was just too needy. Now, I don't think this King of Swords was too needy. I think somebody has deeply seated childhood abandonment issues. For some of y'all, this could be by a parent. Okay, because I see two older people in this card, right? Age issues. Don't these two people look like grandparents? Like, maybe this is somebody's parents. Yeah, they do have abandonment issues. Look at this. Fear of cheating. And too attached. And too attached. So, th th this person thinks that everybody cheats, basically. They really didn't have a plan on falling in love with anybody. When they met you, they were not trying to fall in love with you. They didn't have a plan to do that. So what's going on with this person? I feel like this person was the runner. All right. They didn't plan to fall in love with you. You put a mirror up to their face and showed them a, their shadow side. They didn't even know. They thought they were perfect. They didn't know they had a shadow side until they met you. Show me here. Show me more here. <sighs> Look at this. Third party. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. Somebody has been spending time. Somebody here could have a bald head. Okay. You could be dealing with somebody with a bald head here. But someone here has been wasting all their damn valuable time with a third party. Like I said, for some of y'all, somebody was, chose to go be somewhere else with somebody else. But whoever this third party is, all they're doing is just wasting their damn time because they can't have you. I said it. I said it. That's what it's looking like. Look at that. Some of y'all didn't even know this person had a, a third party. They did. And you didn't even know it. <clears throat> it says, I haven't told you everything. Uh, <laughs> I don't even think at this point you guys really care to hear it. Because, like, where are you in this? I don't want to run anymore. Y'all was dealing with a runner. Y'all was definitely dealing with a runner. This person thought it was best to just leave you alone and stay in this low vibrational energy. And they know they did a lot of damage. They know they hurt you, but guess what? This person is actually hurting too. This person did a lot of shit. Yeah, look at this dishonesty. Dishonesty. That's what I was saying. I feel like this person did a lot of stuff. Like, they gossip about you because they felt like they lost control over you or you stopped talking. For some of y'all, this person may have ghosted you. Um, I feel like somebody here has anger issues, obviously. And I feel like when they lost control over the situation or you stopped talking to them, um, they ran and you didn't go chase them. And I feel like this person thought by now, a long time ago, that you would have ran back to them already. They expected you to do that. And when you didn't do that, they went, told some stories or some lies to somebody in a friend group. That's what happened. That's what happened here. Damn, that's some... That is some really... 
that's some that sounds like some shit females are doing. Yep. I can't make this up. Look the first card out. Games. Games. This person played games. Mind games. That's what I'm telling you. Playing at love, but not serious about keeping it. Know what you want and be honest. This person was not honest with you. They were keeping secrets. Secrets is already out here. This person already did the damage. I really don't think. Look, and then we got snake energy here with tempted. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Look at this. Conquest energy. Just another notch in the headboard or the real deal. Actions speak loudest. I feel like this person was in the snake energy playing game. Look, look at all this crap. Rocky's on the bottom of the deck. It's been a rocky road. When you were with this person, I feel like they played so many games. Look at this. The game energy, snake energy, and then we have this conquest energy. For them, long as they had control over you, they felt long as they felt like they had control over you, because I feel like this is not real control. What they thought they had control over you, they did not. You realized what was going on. You were like, no, no, no. This person ran away from you and you allowed them to run away because you knew they were not ready and you were not trying to save anybody, okay? <laughs> this person just thought you were just going to be another whatever, another number. So I mean, y'all were like, no, you cannot treat me like another number. Look at this. This person definitely had multiple people or they were definitely with somebody else. I don't I don't like this very much. Very low vibrational energy. Hmm. This person really thought and there goes more Leo energy here. This person really thought um, this person really hurt you. This person really hurt you, I feel like. And but I don't think you're concerned about that them, them anymore, to be quite honest. You've picked up the pieces already. Um, and you look better now. You you picked up the pieces, you pulled your shit together, and now they're too busy worried about where you are and what you're doing. That's what this is right now. What other cards do I want to pull? Show me more here. Hmm. Show me what else does a collective need to know about this? You're manifesting something new. Let's see. Yeah. You're manifesting a, a new past life connection. Look at this. We have manifesting here, past life connection, and very soon. So this is what you guys have looking to look forward to. Um, no more confusion and not seeing clearly. Release, move on. This is what spirit is saying. You're releasing and letting go and trust. Just let go and trust. It's okay. That's what spirit is telling you. They're telling you to let go of the complicated person that may come back. I don't know. We'll see. What action is this person going to take? I don't even know if this person is going to take any action. Um, honestly, because I didn't really see that. So I don't even know why we're talking about it. I feel like the only reason we're talking about this is because somebody's gossiping about you. And they're telling lies. And spirit wants you to know. But we saw that tower card at the bottom of the deck. So, honey, if, if they tell lies about you, they're going to get that karma. <clears throat> this person is still hanging on your energy. Yeah, they don't want to let you go. That's why we're still talking about this. You guys are um, in empress, in full energy. Full empress energy, okay? Male or female, but like you're in the energy of like fer fertile right now. You, you may have a baby with a new person. Some of y'all might be pregnant with a new person's child already or have gotten a new person pregnant. It says Ace of Wands, Empress Energy. You could be a Taurus. Some of y'all definitely might be having children. 
I just feel like this situation just helped you heal your inner child. It helped push you to do some shadow work. So the same way you put the mirror up to this person's face, honestly, you saw some things. This connection and the experience ultimately led you to see yourself. Some things in yourself that you really didn't like. Okay. Um, you got a secret admirer watching you. And could be a new person for a lot of y'all. That's that's this past person. I'm telling you. <sighs> so is this past person gonna say anything or do anything for my collective? I got, oh, look at that. <laughs> Look at what just came out. The Empress and the Queen of Cups. I'm telling you. This person views you as this. And this is how your energy is coming up. You, did, you didn't deserve any of this bullshit. Who is talking about this Empress and this Queen of Cups? Whoever is over there talking about this Empress and this Queen of Cups. I'm telling you. It's just jealousy. Okay. Because this, this Empress and this Queen of Cups. This is a good woman. Savannah. You hear what I'm saying? Lion. Who, the, the Empress is not doing anything that does not honor themselves. Their self-respect. Their, their self-esteem. It ain't that kind of party over here with, 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 with whoever this is. So whoever the heck is. What, what, are, what do they want with the collective? The spirit. What do they want with the collective? Try to rush towards you. What do they want with the collect? Oh, uh, collector, please. Cause I can't. <sighs> they want to end a third party and come to you. I don't know. Uh, Scorpio energy, third party, or they may want to reunite with you. You could be a Scorpio. We did see Scorpio energy out here. What do they want with? The, the, there go this king of swords coming out again what action is this king of swords going to take towards this feminine please this person holding on to you they waiting on the right time to come towards you they still love you two, two of wands, four of pentacles and the two of cups I still feel like they don't have a clear plan they're thinking about it they don't have it all together yet. Maybe they are in the process of, of getting rid of somebody else. I don't know. Or getting rid of somebody else. That doesn't sound good. That's not what I mean. But either way, I don't like it. You can do what you want, but I don't see them doing much. They are doing some, okay, maybe they're doing some healing and some reflection. Maybe, but I feel like this is going to take a minute. This is not overnight energy with temperance, eight of pentacles and judgment card, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. Show me what else with this king of swords. Page of pentacles. They could be a younger earth sign. And there goes the emperor that just fell out. So this person definitely feels like you are their person. Like I said, they feel like the divine put the two of you in a room together or they met you for a divine purpose. Like that was divinely orchestrated. Uh oh, all these cards just fell out. Half the deck just fell out. But the only card that flipped over was this judgment card. So this person, like I said, is thinking about the decision that they made and the shit that they did. They know it was it was just unnecessary. Show me more about this emperor and this king of swords. I feel like this is two people. Ten of Pentacles, child. This person want to and hold on. This person want to be with you. They could be a Virgo. Um, three cards just fell, fell out. Oh wait, four. This person is trying to manifest you. Ace of Pentacles, the mag magician, Page of Wands. Wow. And the Ten of, Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles is out here too. Some of y'all have something new. And for a lot of y'all, this new person could be a Gemini. They don't have to be. But somebody here wants to come back. They're ending a third party. And they want to offer something to you. Ace of Pentacles. Um, 
And for some of y'all, that's just somebody new. All right, so if you have them blocked, unblock them if you want to talk to them. That's all I'm going to say. But I know one thing, they're being real quiet about this too. Look, I'm telling you, the energy that this person is in, look at this. Ten of swords and the seven of swords. Like, what did they do to you? I'm telling you, this person did some shit to a very good person. This person is realizing what a shit. They, what a bad person they were to you. King of Cups. This is this King of Cups. Remember, the Queen of Cups is already out here. So they knew, they knew full well who you were to them. They knew God sent you to them. They probably prayed for you at one point. And then when you came in, they shitted on it. People can be awful. And now they want to come back when they're ready. Like, y'all can do what y'all want, but... Let me know in the comments. Hit the like button before y'all leave. I don't like I don't like this sometimes. Because to me, this feels like you don't get to do whatever it is that you want to do when you get ready to do it. Have fun. Play with people's feelings and their heart and their emotions. They don't know what you went through. What's the advice for the collective? And then just come back. Oh, I'm here. Can we try this again? No, I think y'all, some of y'all have moved on. Spirit is saying you are being asked to detach from something that you've been holding on to. We've been holding on too tightly to a desire or if you're holding on to a desired outcome, it restricts the flow. Trust that the outcome will work out and let go of your attachment to it. All right. So for some of y'all do want to get back with this person. You're going to have to just detach from whatever outcome that you thought it would be like. You know what I'm saying? Just continue to heal and it'll. this person is going to come towards you at some point. I promise you they will. It says when you think about whatever that is you're pondering, take a moment, check in with how you feel about it. Okay. Do you feel lighter or do you feel heavier? Excited or filled with dread? That's how you will know. Pay attention to your inner guidance. It's always so helpful. Some of y'all telling you know will know immediately, but your gut might be telling you, no, I'm not, I don't want to do this again with you. Because the king of wands is out here. This is somebody who definitely played games. Narcissistic. Um, they love to be the center of attention. Or when anytime they get attention from anybody, they are like, oh, yes, give me that. Give me that. <sighs> and I feel like to some extent controlling too. It's like as soon as this person lost their control... Or they felt like they lost control. Because I really feel like they've never had control. Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling now. Anyway, I love y'all. Hit the like button. You could really be dealing with anybody out here. But we have strong um, Leo, strong Scorpio, strong Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Aries. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. I love y'all. Bye-bye. Yeah.